one of the grand challenges in, in modern physics is that about 95% of the universe is what we call dark, meaning that they don't emit light. And that's very problematic because when we look out in the sky, we can't see anything. We see the effects. And the reason why I am using or studying gravitational waves is because it's a unique way to you know, highlight some of the things that don't normally emit light, but we are able to receive some of their influence and their signals. And therefore, by studying or using gravitational waves, we may be able to open up the content of the universe. The LIGO uh, detectors, and I should also add the, the Virgo detector in Europe, they are unique in the sense that they have been able to measure something which we scientifically were not expecting to be able to see. Right? It's first and foremost a technological marvel that we're able to measure such small changes in space-time itself. Before the detection of gravitational waves, the biggest challenge was to actually find them and differentiate them from noise. Within the first uh, detection as well, uh, it actually occurred in the first day that I started here in, in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And I remember coming into my office the very first day and I opened my laptop. There was the hint that something was there and from that moment I knew that you know the, the coming months would be very very hectic. We started off with just being able to observe these signals and prove the existence of gravitational waves and now we are using that information that we now know okay there are gravitational waves out there to go a step beyond and we're gonna see okay we're actually studying the signals in, in tremendous amount of detail to see if there's additional kind of, you know, wiggles that give us extra information about uh, you know, some of the interesting physics questions. And we do this by very advanced statistical techniques, but also by modeling some of the physical processes that we expect. And one of the, the important ones that we're working on is the so-called gravitational lensing effect. It is a field that has a lot of potential to capture the public's imagination. I think it's something that people are naturally uh, gravitating towards in, um, in just satisfying their curiosity. And so I think uh, doing research in this field and also doing the outreach, I think it has a tremendous potential to inspire the next generation in doing uh, curiosity-driven research and also uh, making them interested in, uh, in STEM uh, sciences.